In the ever-changing landscape of the internet, almost every public entity has a presence on social media. That presence helps close the gap between public officials and the public. But a violation of the First Amendment in some cases is only a click away. Two federal courts have ruled that it is unconstitutional for public officials to block or ban someone on social media for their views. Kingsport resident Daniel Queen told News Channel 11 he believes he was banned from the Kingsport Police Department's Facebook page. He said he left a couple of comments on their posts that were critical of the department for their citations of homeless people. He said his comments disappeared and he could no longer comment or interact with the page. Deborah Fisher, a free speech expert, said those two cases set the precedent that public officials aren't constitutionally allowed to ban people from their social media pages. So if the if someone were to challenge what happened in this case and took it to court, um, likely these two federal appellate cases would be used as precedent. So they're pretty strong in terms of laying out at least what those appellate courts think um, is the law. The Kingsport Police Department provided a copy of their Facebook ban list and Queen's name did not appear on any of the records provided. Queen remains unable to react with the page in any way. The department declined an interview, but provided a statement that read in part, no one has been banned for expressing their views. The only reason someone would be banned from our page is if they failed to keep their comments within Facebook's recommended guidelines. The department blocked 29 people between 2012 and 2020. Fisher said a government could ban someone for speech that isn't protected by the First Amendment, so things like inciting violence. Um, there may be instances where someone could be banned. So if the government entity could show, you know, that there was um, a, a justifiable reason for banning the person other than just that person's viewpoint, the federal courts have made clear that you can't ban someone, or that a government can't ban someone from a public forum just based on their viewpoint. Um, there may be other reasons, like I said, a threat or things like that, but not based on their viewpoint. That would be protected by the First Amendment. Jessica Fuller, News Channel 11.